it's Anne from the Useless Crafter. We are gonna finish up Bruno, as you can see. He's got some fun things on here, but we're gonna do like the final finishing touches. Um, uh, the first video of assembling it was, you know, you, you put all your pieces down, you glue it down. So we did that. I showed you one of the flock um, mice, rats, and look at it, it looks so good. I don't know if you can, I'm looking at the TV screen as I'm talking to you. I feel like you can see the flock, but let me show you the difference. Um, here we go. So I did it three ways. This would be just a regular rat cardstock. This is what we would have done in the past, right? So here's that piece. Here's my little flock guy that like, he looks like he's got fur on him. I, like, I just love it. And then here's this one. This is what I would have done had I not gone to NAMTA, had I not run into Pink and Main and saw their line. Um, I would have done the HTV flock. I used sublimation, I used in, um, sublimation paint to mix a dark gray and to get this kind of like, well actually this is a brown. I did it dark, it's got some shading to it. So I absolutely, I absolutely love this until we did this guy. And I would say this one was definitely um, easier to do, right? Cause it's just the adhesive sheets. Uh, the adhesive sheets are double-sided. So you glue it down, I mean, you tape it down to the black outline and then the top piece, you, you pull that top layer off so then it's sticky you add the flock to it and so it sticks to the tape and it doesn't flake so it's really really nice so there you have it right so what we're gonna do with Bruno is and before we do that if you haven't subscribed please do <laughs> all right this is everything is glued down except for the green his green vest right here because you see this big piece right here I want this wrap to bounce because that's going to be easy that's just going to be on a little wobbly that you can buy on amazon um i love this it's just fun i've used it on a lot of projects i think it's worth it okay so i want to have him on a wobbly so he goes like this right but i also want him to move back and forth a little bit and the reason why i did that though is look at this see i had to slice this off because i was using 12 by 12 cardstock so first piece is let's attach these two pieces okay i'm going to turn it over and we're going to tape it up so it becomes one piece so we have that line that we definitely need to cover up and we're going to cover that up with the bottom of the wrap okay and then if you haven't followed the crafty block diana is from canada she her and i um I don't know we found each other pretty early on on Facebook and we just decided like hey we do the same things let's collaborate and just like figure out the best way to do this we, you know we're not competing we're just you know we're gonna build off of each other and I love her style um, we don't always do the same things well actually you know I, I feel like we rarely do the same things um, but She's extra in a different way, which I, you know, I can appreciate, right? Because I love to be extra. So she's extra in her own way. Um, she did Bruno earlier this month and, or maybe it was even last month. I know I'm so behind. Um, so she did Bruno um, a while ago and she added like little fringe tassels to the bottom of his poncho. So I want to do that first. So we're going to do that. Then we're going to, we're going to stick this in here behind. We're going to tape it down so that this black doesn't show. Okay. So actually what we can do is we can do that first. So I'm basically going to cut this up like this. Okay. We know it's going to go somewhere right around here. So, um, well, you know what, let's make sure we know where it goes. Okay. And I know what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna mark in pencil, maybe in this pencil, exactly where the circle is so that I know what we need to cover, right? So I'm gonna lift this up. I'm gonna put this down like this. 
just enough to cover that piece. Okay. And we're gonna tape this down. You know, I don't like, mm, do I care that there's a seam? I'm just gonna tape it down. Okay, so that when this piece goes over it like this, we're not gonna be so distracted by the black. Oh, and I still managed to miss a little bit of it. That's okay. Uh, is it okay? All right, I'm gonna do a little bit more. <laughs> I'm gonna do that, okay? So that's on one side, I know. Well done. Let's put that down. And, and this, I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I wasn't really thinking about it. I just thought the rat would cover it completely. So there, it covers it completely. Oh, oh no, but that's not lined up, right? Let's make sure. So, let's line him, line up all the pieces. Okay, yeah, so that, that looks good, right? So now we're gonna have this little guy right here. He's gonna be moving back and forth. And the whole time, even when he's moving just a little bit, he should be covering this seam right there. You see, so that seam, whether he's moving back and forth, it's completely covering the seam, hopefully. All right, so what we can do in the meantime, though, is let's do all of our tails. So I have my little hole puncher from We Are Memory Keepers. This is such a cool little tool. You, you have all these different measurements. Um, I'm gonna try the 1 16th first. And I'm just gonna punch some holes at the bottom, okay? So let's see here. Can I see where I'm punching? I cannot see where I'm punching, so that's not good. I'm gonna guess. All right, I'm gonna have to, I'm just gonna punch a few holes. Okay, maybe you can see it against the black, yeah. So I'm gonna add the tassels there. I'm gonna do it on this one. And because I can't really see where I'm punching, I'm, I'm kind of just going off of a feel and hoping for the best. All right, that one was not so good. Okay, and then just one hole left. All right, so, oh, and then this piece we have these down here. All right, so I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. All right, I did it. <laughs> okay, so I picked this from Joann's. I'm just gonna, let's see, how am I gonna do this? Um, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 15. All right, I'm okay with ruining this whole thing. So let me get my scissors out, my sharp, sharp scissors. Um, so I love my scissors, okay? I have paper scissors and I have sharp scissors for things like this. My sharp scissors actually have a cover so I know never to use this for anything but this kind of stuff. All right. So I'm just cutting it in half like that and I'm gonna take each one of these and let's see what I can do. Can I even get it through? If I can't, Oh boy, I got some of it through. So I'm going to just unravel it and see what that looks like. I 
think that's going to be good. The only thing is to unravel it. There's got to be an easier way than to use my fingers. So let me see if I have one of those like brush tools. Um, you know, I've got so many tools that somewhere here, there's got to be something that's more of like a brush like little dealy. I have something in mind. I just need to find it. Okay, I've got a brush somewhere. Give me one second here. We're looking. This is how we learn and do things <laughs> on the fly. And how is this possible? I feel like. I used to have like a, oh, here it is, a cat brush. Not that I have a cat, but this was for pom-poms. Okay, it looks good. Right, and we add a few more. Like, I think it adds to the, let me, let me, right, we're gonna have a bunch of them, so that's gonna look good. All right, so we actually have to do that before we continue, because we're gonna be gluing down these pieces. Um, unless I leave it open enough that we don't glue that down. Okay, I'm gonna leave it open enough, because I don't wanna do, I don't want to have to pierce through all of that in order for you guys to see that. So what I'm gonna do with this is I'm gonna glue just the top half, and that way that will get it down enough for us to do everything else. So everything else is gonna stay in place. I'm gonna start gluing, okay? So I'm gonna take out my Barely Art glue. Okay, so here's my Barely Art glue. Um, if you didn't catch the other tutorial yet, in the description, you can go to Pink and Main. I'm not an affiliate or anything. I just really, oh, sorry, you saw my big old head in there. <laughs> um, I saw Pink and Main at the NAMTA convention. Loved their product. It was just like, you know, can I make something with this product? I feel like I can make something amazing. And they're like, okay. We like your idea, let's do this. So they gave it to me. Um, you buying it does nothing for me. Um, so just wanna let you know, just pointing it out. Um, so yeah. So go to Pink and Main. What you're gonna need are the adhesive sheets and you're gonna cut it on your Cricut. That's gonna be your, you know, you're cutting it like any other cardstock piece, okay? Then uh, you also need the flock. So let me give you the colors of the flock that I use for this. And of course I put it away. What am I thinking? Gosh, I know it's like I've been away for a little bit and I feel like I, I mean, I'm always a hot mess, <laughs> but way more of a hot mess. Okay, this is the brown, this is teddy bear. Teddy bear is what I used for his flock shoes. And I'm gonna move it up hopefully, oh darn it. I mean, look at how good this looks. Hold on, it's coming. Right? That's more than just like brown. That's a brown suede flip flop. <laughs> For the rats, um, I used mm, where is it? I must still have it out because I don't see it in my bag. Oh, I do have it out. It is called Overcast, and I'm gonna open it for you just to see. I mean, it's fluffy gray. It's like a heather gray. So that's called Overcast. The other one was called Teddy Bear, right? And those are the, oh yeah, oh, gosh, I'm like losing my head. Teddy Bear and Overcast, okay? But I have, did you see? I have all these colors to use in the future. Um, but I wanna be intentional with it. They also have fine glitter, which gives us so many options. That is coming in the mail to me. 
So I'm gonna show you, you know, like sometimes when I want to use glitter, but there's just none available, um, we can now do that. Um, okay, so this piece I'm going to, let me see. I still need another piece right there. So give me a second. I'm gonna put a piece there. Because I can see that black and I don't like it. Mm, I had it backwards. Okay, so I'm going to tape it down like that. Okay, hopefully I didn't go over my piece. Let's double check. Lift that up a little bit, right around. And yeah, right around there is good. So I'm now gonna glue this top portion, which I'm gonna hold like this. put down like that okay oh boy okay then I'm gonna put this piece over here oh no this piece goes down here this piece goes here So I'm going to put this, I'm going to glue this one completely down. Oh gosh. Okay, and this piece I'm going to do this top half. I'm going to leave this bottom half open so that we can add the fringe. So he is all down. What I want to add for this piece is I want my little rat guy. Um, I am going to put, let's see, I want him to be, I want to angle this so that as he goes back and forth, okay. So I'm going to put, let me make sure where I want it. Let's look at this. I want to make sure that this whole angle, when you go back and forth, covers the seam mostly. So right around there, which means this needs to be right here. So I'm gonna lift it up, and this is where he's going. So it would probably help had I taken off the piece. Let's see if I can do this. I'm guessing it's not an exact science here. <laughs> All right, this little guy is then gonna go on, hold on, I'm gonna, I'm trying to think, what should I put so that it can move back and forth, it can glide a little bit easier. Um, you know what? I think I'm gonna put it on Let me think about this. So this is gonna go in here like this. And what can I put it on? I was gonna put it on a quarter, but I think that's too heavy. 
So let me think about this. Let me see what I have in my supplies. Um, or you know what? What if we put it on like a paper clip? Let me think about this. If it's on a paper clip, it can go back and forth. Right? Right. Okay. So. I wonder, would that just work the way I think it's going to work? Okay, so I'm going to. So if you can kind of see, I'm putting, I'm inserting the paper clip in. Okay. So now it's moving all over the place. Hold on. I want my paper clip in between here. No, the paper clip has to stay down. And then once I have it glued down, okay, so I'm gonna turn on my glue gun. My glue gun on. Probably would turn on if I plugged it in. <laughs> okay. So I'm building this contraption, right? This paper clip, once I glue it down, it's going to keep it within this space, right? So then I can move it back and forth. Could it go past? I feel like no. What I want to do is I want to put it on a piece of paper. Sorry, I'm thinking out loud. So hold up. Let me get my paper clip out. Okay, now I'm completely confused. Okay, I think what I want is I'm going to put in a piece of paper like this so that it can move back and forth. This is going to be taped to here, so this is what it's going to be like. I'm put that down, right? So that's inside the paper. So let's look at this. This paper is going to be down here. Um, I'm going to want it thinner. So it's going to be like this and it's going to move back and forth. Okay. So it's going to be in right here. This little guy is going to be glued or taped to this. So let me... So, yay, it works. Okay, so the only thing is, let's flip this over. So you see how this, this piece works like this, back and forth, right? So now what we wanna do is, we gotta glue down I'm gonna glue down just to here so this can still stay up, but this needs to be more secure so my rat is gonna be secure in moving right here. So that, see how this piece comes out? It's not gonna come out if it's glued down. So what we need to do is, we need to do this. We need to glue it, hold on. I'm gonna cut this a little bit. And so we're gonna glue right here on the edges, okay? So for the time being, while it's being glued and drying on the edges, we want to make sure that we don't move the mouse, the rat, okay? We're going to let it dry. And then we'll mess around with that in a little bit. All right, it's so tempting to move it right now. Okay, so everything is in place. I think we got it. This just has to dry. So I'm going to hold this down. It doesn't want to stay down. And what I'm going to do 
do is maybe just put like something heavy on it. Of course I have nothing heavy. I've got my purse. All right, I'm gonna keep my purse down. Um, let's see, what do we wanna do while we do that? Um, he's, he's done. We just gotta put him on a foam board. So, um, on the foam board, with the rats kinda being like this, um, I think the foam board, if we just cut down the middle, so I'm gonna show you in a second. Let me go grab a foam board. Does it move a little bit? It moves a little bit. Okay, yeah. Okay, I'm gonna grab the foam board and I'm gonna show you what I think we should do. But before I do that, let's look at this cutie pie. So we still need to add the fringe at the bottom, but let's look at him from the top to the bottom. Here he is. Right? This guy's gonna move a little bit. And this way. And we've got the black shoes. And we're gonna do this right now. Actually, I wanna do, let's do a few more while we have time. Okay. So I'm gonna lick that so that I can get this through. Oh man, where I'm wondering, is it better to, how can I do this? Could I get it through like this? I don't think I can, no. I could always make the hole bigger, but I don't want to. Oh, okay there, that came through. So with this, what I would do is, afterwards, I would probably glue the back so that it can't move up and down. So like put a little dab of glue right here so that I don't have to tie it or anything, but it'll just be fringe. Okay, so let's continue doing all of this. We'll glue and brush all at the end so right now I just want to get them in and I want to get them in and about all the same height. So like that one I missed a thread, but that's okay. It's just one. Okay. It looks good, huh? I love it. I love it when, when all the details work. All right, so. Okay, so those three went through. So I sort of want to grab three, make sure they're of equal length-ish. And there, my glue's not hot yet. So it'll be like this. Okay, so let's do the next few. Yep, if you get a good lick <laughs> and wet it, it will go through pretty easily. All right, let's continue. So I'm super excited about the other finds. So, you know, there were a ton of things being displayed at NAMTA, but I walked away with about, I feel like, five really good connections and one of them was pink and main for the flock which I absolutely love 
Um, another one that I plan on doing an Encanto theme is Chibitronics with their lights. So they have electrical tape with a battery. And when you map it all out appropriately, it gives you the best lights without it being clunky. Cause you know I love my Amazon lights and there's a purpose for both. Both can exist. The big light bulb with that, you know, the tape, the, the little, um, little ticker tape piece to turn on and off the lights. I think there's a purpose for both. So I'm not replacing it, but there's a time and a need for something thinner. And so I'm super excited to use both actually. I think having both in our toolbox is going to be amazing. All right, that didn't work. And what else? Um, found a great sublimation blank place where I feel like it's a little bit more high end. Um, like their mugs, for instance, they come already like glittered and the handle and the piece like right in between the handle, it's all covered. So it gives you just a more finished look, right? Because when we use the Cricut Mug Press, um, the handle doesn't get changed, right? So it's cool. I love my Cricut Mug Press, don't get me wrong. But this blank will make it just feel more complete because it'll be all around, for instance. Um, they also had very cool like pillows, um, something that I feel like I would use as home decor. So a lot of times I feel like with the sublimation blanks, it's, you know, it's, um, I use it with my daughter, but I feel like some of these blanks will be more for like adult decor. <laughs> so uh, there's that and, oh, maybe I only have three. Um, yeah, maybe I only made good three good contacts. Oh, well, four. This fourth one doesn't count because I don't mean it like it doesn't count <laughs> that it's not a good product, but it's because I get the blinks of the month with Artist Free. So Artist Free came out with some really cool products. Paint, paint and more ink colors for the ink pad. So that will be coming. So, okay, so this was a lot easier than I thought it would be. So we've got that done. I only have four more. So if you don't think about how this was sitting out in Joann's where everyone can walk by and I'm, I don't know, I'm putting like dust and dirt in my mouth. If you don't think about that, <laughs> then you're totally okay with doing it the way I'm doing it. I guess what would be probably more sanitary is if I dipped it in water, but. I didn't think about that. All right, I've got three more. At this point, whatever would have made me sick would have already made me sick. Not doing the last two is not gonna help. <laughs> All right, here we go. Almost done. Oh, I knew it. The one piece came up. That is ruined. One more piece, and I thought I wasn't going to do it all. All right. Okay, so this first piece, for instance, I'm going to flip it over. Put a little bit of hot glue so that it stays in place. And actually, could I even glue it down? I could just glue it down, okay. Um, these three, let's look at these three. All pretty equal, so. crazy mess right here. I'm going to just 
bend it over, put a little bit of glue. Oh man, I totally messed this one up. The line, alignment got off. Oh man, I just pulled that one out. Okay, that's okay. All right, I need to put one more in because that came out. Okay, so that's all down. This is now good. This goes back and forth. This tinkers, right? And then this we're gonna brush out. So here's my little brush. And I'm just gonna hold it because I don't want this to like come apart. And trim this little piece because it feels like it's out of place. Let me move this up a little bit. This one just feels like all the others are good. And we can play with this fringe to like unravel it a little bit more. Okay. And maybe even make it shorter because this is kind of long. This is like a haircut, so can't go back after this. So just, you know, we can always trim a little bit more later. All right. That looks good to me. Oh my gosh, he's done and he looks awesome. Let's go to the foam board. So the foam board, let me grab one and then we'll finish this off. So he's 30 inches, which is the length of the foam board. And I'm gonna put him down like this. So that you can see. And I'm just gonna do an outline and I'm gonna do the board straight up. I'm gonna avoid this part. So pretty much here and here, he's gonna go straight up, okay? So let's do this. I'm gonna move this aside. I'm gonna get my um my white pencil. Give me a second. Yep. Okay, so we're gonna trace this, okay? Um so I feel like I know you can't see at the bottom. I'm just gonna trace around here and you see this. So this is what you're gonna do. Just top to bottom, you're gonna trace it around and it's okay that there's a white mark because we're gonna cut inside the white lines so that we won't see the, the white pencil at all. And on his hair, I'm going right here and I'm not gonna cut out this little piece. I'm gonna go right here like that. And I'm gonna continue going right here. I'm gonna go around the curl. So I'm gonna remove this and you're gonna see what he looks like, okay? So. So he's gonna look like this. Okay, so here I'm gonna connect this. 
This is where his arms go out. I'm not gonna support the arms, I'll be okay. And I'm gonna cut it like that, okay? So, let's get out our, I've got my Cricut blade. Okay, I'm gonna cut right here. And I'm gonna just try to make it really a really smooth cut. So I'm going inside the white lines. Okay, so you kind of see that. I'm gonna move this up a little bit. So you see my end. 